I was creating an automatic piglin head farm when this happened. How is this even possible and what exactly is even going on here? Hello there, Ray here. I'm known for finding the most craziest tricks in Minecraft that eventually get used by millions of people. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here and what awesome things this could be used for. Everyone knows that minecarts don't move on their own without rails, but if you catch a pig on it and ride it off the rails, you're able to actually move about. But this should not be possible as a cart didn't move on its own without rails. But if you ever done this, you notice the controls are backwards. So if I try walking forward, I have to go backwards. But when it comes to these decks, entities, it's usually the one on the bottom which can move all the rest. Like in my crazy camel stack, the minecart at the very bottom is actually moving everything. But I'm on top of the stack, so I should have no control over the minecart at the very bottom. And this is where things get weird. I thought this was happening because the player was moving forward, therefore pushing the minecart backwards. And Frostbite looked in the code for me and confirmed that this is what's happening. But in mine, you can also see there's a boat. Now in Java, we can also catch a boat with a minecart, but nothing's actually riding the boat itself. So we can go ahead and ride the boat. Now if we take it off the rail, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to get opposite directions just like before. But now side to side makes us rotate and go sideways. Boats can hold other things besides just players. So if we place a villager in there, the villager doesn't actually try to move about. Even if we give it a tempting workstation. But what if we go ahead and ride in with the villager? Everything seems fine. We're both riding in the boat because it has two slots. If I try to move forward, I move backwards very slowly and same for the reverse. Everything just seems really slow. But the weirdness occurs when I leave the boat. The villager goes back to the center, but all of a sudden the villager starts moving. And what in the world? How is it moving? Why is it moving? So how is it that nothing's moving, but as soon as the player rides it and then dismounts, all of a sudden it starts to move. Even if we use a mod like a shulker, which doesn't actually try to pathfind anywhere, it still moves. But now pay close attention to what actually happens when the player dismounts. The player leaves the boat and then afterwards the shulker is moved towards the center. This is the key into making it move. Most mobs have collision and this can actually push things around such as minecarts. So the game goes ahead and moves the shulker from the outside into the center. All of a sudden it pushes the minecart a little bit. And then once the minecart starts to move that means it also moves the boat which inside of the boat is the shulker which ends up pushing the minecart once again. This constant loop keeps it moving. This also means if we could somehow get the shulker to be aligned perfectly back in the center again, then all of a sudden we could have it not move once again. We could do this by aligning it with some blocks. Now once the blocks are removed, you see the whole system doesn't move. With the shulker, you could just reload the world and then it'll start moving again. This also means we can actually determine what direction we want it to go if we're just able to push the minecart which is in the center. Now some mobs like villagers like to pathfind when you push them. So they can actually kind of change the rotation which they're going. So if we push the villager that direction, notice that he can actually rotate it and go back the same direction he was going before. But in my Twitch clip, I wasn't using a boat, but a chest boat. Notice that when you mount these, you automatically are placed slightly to the side. The same thing goes when you're placing any mobs in it. So if we have the minecart pick up the chest boat, then we place a mob inside of it, it will automatically start moving without us having to push it at all because the mob is already a little bit off-centered. But you don't even need the mob. If we just go ahead and pick one of these up and we hop in as the player, all of a sudden the player pushes on it and it starts to move without having to have any type of power. Doing this on top of the bedrock in Java lets you move infinitely without having to do anything. You can use this to go really far like to the world border all while being AFK. This trick can be used in a lot of niche situations, such as having a minecart go through an area where there's actually blocks because we don't need any rails to control it. And the bottom boat can also push mobs. We can also place a mob inside, such as like an enderman, which is so tall, it can push any mobs that are on top of this area up here. So you can kind of use this as a sweeping device. If you change out the blocks that it goes over top of it into something slow like soul sand, you can make it move slowly so you can use it as like a clock. By making the boat face directly into a block, we can make a very, very slow clock as it's constantly pushing it against it, but then it's slowly creeping back here and it will reset itself. This thing can also be placed on a flying machine, but you need to have a detector rail over here. And by placing a mob inside, you can make an infinite power source that's always pushing. And this is exactly how I use it in my automatic piglin head farm. I have the boat sweeping back and forth both sides, pushing any mobs that get stuck inside out of it. This is so much easier than using a gas or having to constantly break and replace the portal. You can also use this in all dimensions, including in the nether where you don't have water. So this is how I have it. I have a small rail system like this. Then you place in the boat the opposite direction which you want it to go. In this case, I want the boat to go towards me, so I'll face it that way. Now we come in with a minecart. I'll pick it up by using a curve rail and pushing it. Now you can see it's stuck inside of it. So now if I ride this as a player, it's going to try to make me ride going backwards. So the boat goes backwards, but it constantly wants to go that direction. So even though this rail system shoots me out, I just end up flying back into it and going back and forth. 
and then just by putting a mob inside of it, it works automatically. You can even make these impossible minecart circles. This is done by just angling the boat the way you want it to go. So let's say I want the boat to shoot off this direction and then walk itself back over onto this rail and then make a loop with that one over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the boat angle so that it will face this way. And now we can come in and pick it up with a minecart, just like so. And then we're gonna temporarily place in a rail here as well as here and a block there to catch it. Now just bring along some chicken eggs and throw them until you get a chicken and then put that into it. And once you got it set up like this, you can remove this as well as this one here. And if you did everything properly, it should automatically jump from one rail and then loop back over to the other. And you can even make this bigger setup here, which looks so broken and cursed. But sometimes these miss their mark during reloading. What other cool ideas do you think this trick could be used for? Now let your favorite Minecrafters know about this and credit Race Works. Tons more crazy glitches in this playlist here. Or this one about my quest to farm up everything in the game of Minecraft using automation. Join me on Twitch to see how I discover all these crazy glitches and design all my different types of farms. I do it live every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday starting 2 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.